Very good. Happy Sunday, everyone. Thank you guys for jumping on. For those of you that haven't seen, I'm dipping my toe into the water of reels. So I just did a um, reel. Um, and honestly, Sundays are my favorite. I think I've told you guys that a lot. Um, just kind of refreshing and reflecting and getting ready for Monday. And so when I come to my office about 7 p.m. on Sunday nights, like 7 to 10 is like my sit at my desk, like get my brain right, get on track. Uh, and I'm really excited for Shannon to share tonight because I really do feel like where we are halfway through the month, seeing numbers show up with the new comp plan stuff um, is really exciting. But just remembering too that being consistent and showing up and doing the work is what's going to keep moving that needle forward. Um, I had a quote that jumped out at me today. I wrote it in my planner for tomorrow so that I can stare at it um, all week. And it says your paycheck will match how far you are willing to step out of your comfort zone. And I was like, whoa. Like if you think about that on so many different levels. Um, and I want you guys to remember that <clears throat> seeking a paycheck or wanting a bigger paycheck is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> It's not selfish to say, I want to provide for my family. I want to be debt free. I want to build an orphanage. I want to do like fill in the blank. You can fill in the blank with whatever you want. But I want you guys to remember that setting big goals, stepping out of your comfort zone, that is a very, very good thing. But our brains are wired to keep us safe and comfortable. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so tonight we're going to break down some of that. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, I feel stuck or it feels hard or I don't know what to do. Or, you know, I'm watching um, Shannon and Jamie and, and all these people hit leaderboard. And so what's, what's the trick or the secret or the solution? Um, the first thing is, and I talked about it last week, if you haven't seen last week's call, we have to, um, an un- what, what was, how did I say it? An un something mind. You have to manage, unmanaged mind is not good. Like that will keep you stuck. We have to manage our mind and be focused and intentional on what we want to do. So tonight, I hope you have a pen. Um, we are going to go through. So Shannon, in true Shannon fashion, halfway through the month, decided she would go ahead and check off her goals. So now she can be working on everybody else on the team's goals um, by sweeping the entire Q2 success sprints. So congratulations on that. You guys have to realize though, like you can't sweep the contest by yourself. And I have not swept the contest. <laughs> um, it's personal goal setting, as well as then looking and seeing how can I help everybody around me get to their next step, get to their next goal. Because it's a combination of personal recruiting, personal subscriptions, but then also retention, ranking, helping team rank up, helping your team retain their rank ups. Um, so some of the tips and stuff that Shannon is gonna give you tonight is it's no secret sauce, really. It's just doing the work and doing the work every day. Um, and she's just got that bright, shiny resume of leaderboard like for eight weeks, nine weeks, eight weeks out of the last nine, nine weeks out of the last 10, plus then sweeping um, the success sprint. So congratulations, Shannon, on that. But I am gonna just let you take it away and go for it and tell everybody like what is working because that's the burning question. Okay. <laughs> all right well thank you so much and yeah as you said I mean it's it's a lot of teamwork for sure um and I've been at the ballpark all weekend so you get like messy hair don't care and glasses to um shade these itchy eyes from all of the dust but um yeah and I may have talked about 
this before, but none of this is my idea. All of this is just things I've taken from trainings over time, right? Like, as I listen to trainings and I learn from others, I just implement it for what works for me. So this works for me. And I want you all to listen to this from the perspective of, okay, but how can I also make that work for me too? Because I think these four things I'm going to talk about are something that everyone needs to do no matter your personality or no matter your rank in this business, right? It doesn't matter where you're at. If you can do these four things and build a strong foundation, then it can keep going and you won't feel like a crazy person. You won't feel like, oh shoot, I don't know what to do because you do know what to do. It's just a matter of making it such a habit that you don't even have to think about it anymore. And so I talked about this the other day on a call. Um, it's kind of like, you know, you get on the airplane, no one pays attention to this, but you know, they do all the safety stuff and they talk about, you know, if, you know, if we're going down and the oxygen mask comes down, who are you supposed to put it on first? yourself. You put on your oxygen mask and you put it on the other person. You don't put it on everyone else first, but it's real easy to do that. It's really easy to think, oh my goodness, I got to do all these things, but then you're not actually breathing life into yourself and in your own business. And so then you start to feel like, I don't know what to do, but you actually do know what to do. And so in, in the grand scheme of just building habits, if you can just keep in mind that you need to do four things, I would say every day, um, or combine them, right? At least five out of seven days of the week. Um, but I do these things probably every day. If you can do four things every day, I really believe that you can, you can feel like you're moving the needle forward, no matter what in your business and not feel like you have no idea what's going on. Right. <clears throat> and so the four activities every day are to create, which is create on social media, whether it's a, a post, like this is all personal. Okay. So this is all personal. This is, has nothing to do with your team. Okay. This is not team development. This is personal. So a personal post you're creating or stories or both. Okay. But you need to get really good at one before you do the other It quality over quantity. Okay. You can't be doing all the things and be doing them bad. You need to be really good at one and then move on. So um, I did this for a long time. I was really, I got, I figured out Facebook <clears throat> and then I added an Instagram. So I didn't do, in, I didn't do both first. So I did Facebook, Facebook and I got really good at making one post a day. And we'll talk about what to post here in just a minute. So one post a day. And then I started doing stories. And now I post on Instagram, like a, not all the time because it's a different animal than Facebook. You can't post the same. Anyway, so it's just figure it out, right? But get really good at doing that one a day, once a day. So you want to create, um, you want to engage your audience on social media. So you should never be scrolling just to scroll, right? Like ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. Ain't nobody got time to scroll just to scroll. You need to think about monetizing your time. What is my time worth to me? And am I getting paid to scroll? Nope. But I do get paid by engaging with others, right? So if I'm engaging, that means liking, commenting, and that doesn't, you know, you could go and be real specific about who you do that with. I don't, I literally get on there and I, um, I, I scroll, but I like, and I comment, I like, and I comment, I like, and I comment, and I'm being really genuine with my comments. And then also, I don't know if you've seen this lately, there are, um, like pre done comments for you, right? Like <laughs> that's fine. Like, but the more you're liking and commenting, the more, uh, Facebook is seeing that, you know, you are engaging. And so they are going to show your stuff to more people. Okay. And the same with stories, right? We're not just watching stories. We are commenting back on the story, right? Like send a message, comment back. Like we are not, you don't have time for that. Okay. <laughs> just be really red with you. You don't have time for that. And if you want to watch reels, I used to think reels were a waste of time. No, they're not watch them, get ideas, like, and comment on them. Um, but don't just, don't just waste time watching. Okay. So you're going to create, you're going to engage, and then you have to make sure you follow up. Okay. You have to follow up with your people, with your customers. Okay. A large part of me sweeping Q1 and Q2 was retention with my people because I knew retention was a huge part of that. And so you need to follow up and you need to have a system of following up, which I'm not going to go into my system right now. That's like a whole nother thing that I can do later, but you need to follow up with your customers. You need to, especially within the first month, you need to have like one touch a week in the first month, 
one touch at six weeks, one touch at two months, um, and then monthly after that for probably the first six months until you get a feel for where they're at, and then they can just kind of be wherever. Um, so you want to make sure you're following up, and then following up in your three-way chats, right? Like who am I in a three-way chat with? Who was I messaging um, that needed help ordering or, or had a question or, or whatever? Who, I need to go through and follow up with my messages. And then I also need to do intentional reach outs. And intentional reach outs are things like happy birthday messages. Or while you were intentionally scrolling, you may have seen um, that Jacqueline just had her happy gotcha day. And so you're going to remember that in the back of your mind or write it down if you need to. And during your intentional reach out time, you're going to message Jacqueline. Oh my goodness. Congratulations on happy got you day. I saw your post and I just had to message you. You're intentionally reaching out to people. Hey, how are you? I haven't talked to you, especially when you're scrolling, when you scroll and you're liking and commenting and you're like, oh yeah, that person, I wonder how they're doing. And now you're going to be really intentional and you're going to reach out because you care because this is a connecting business, right? How long should you spend on these activities every day? Well, that's up to you. But if you can do these four things every day, I really think you'll move the needle forward. And I kind of say, if you need a time block, then break it down into four 15 minute segments. You could break it down into four 15 minute segments. We did this the other day on a power hour and I could get all this done in seven minutes, right? Set a timer. And whenever you sit to do anything intentionally, everything should be on do not disturb right? Because I get so distracted. So everything is on do not disturb. And if I forget, I just swipe away. I'm like, Oh, nope, that's not who I'm talking to right now. I'm doing I'm doing this thing because I know I have to get this done. Because if I don't, I'm not putting my oxygen mask on like these, this is like the base of your business. And then when you know, this is what you're supposed to do every day, you just do it. Okay. I know we've been listening to Kristen boss and we don't like the nooks and crannies analogy. I get that. Okay. However, okay. However, right now in summertime, I really am like in the nooks and crannies. Okay. I mean, I'm waiting 10 minutes to pick up a kid. I have 10 minutes to be very intentional on social media, or I have 10 minutes to be very intentional and create some stories about my day. I was doing it this whole weekend. If you guys have follow me on social media, I was at a baseball tournament, took five minutes to step back, make some stories and go put it away. Right. I was in the car on the way home. I did all my follow-ups three days worth of them from my little calendar. Cause I didn't get to them that's fine. Okay. Cause I just knew I needed to get it done, but now I've done it. These people feel taken care of They're there. They feel like they can trust me. Okay. So, so real quick, let's go back through these four things. So when you're creating, how do you get your ideas? Well, when you follow other leaders in the company, you get some really good ideas, save them. Like, I don't know if you know how to do this in Facebook, but you can save posts that you think are a great idea and you can put it in a folder. So just save it. So while you're being really intentional and connecting on social media, do not go down a rabbit trail. Oh, that was a really interesting post about Jessica Huffley. Oh, I wonder what she's up to this day. Nope. Uh-uh. We don't have time for that. You're not getting paid to check out Jessica Huffley's life and whether or not she sold that house finally or whatever, right? Like, you know, you paid to do that. Save the post. That was a great post. And then keep going because now you have it for later. But so the rules of creating on social media are, are you ready? So I call it the fab five of posting. Okay. Monday through Friday, you are being really intentional with the fab five of posting and you are looking for the five E's. You're looking to entertain your audience. Okay. Funny story about you, your kid, your dog, your neighbor, whatever, funny graphics, stay away from politics. Don't do it. Okay. It's just, don't do it. Um, you want to encourage people. Okay, you want to build people up. You want to post positive content. Again, stay away from politics. Um, you want to educate, and this is where Plexus can come in. You want to educate people. Talk about gut health. Talk about the importance of vitamin D. Uh, talk about omegas, right? Educate or talk about something you know a lot about. Maybe you love plants. Maybe you have a green thumb. Whatever. Educate your audience. Offer free, valuable advice. You want to empower people, give them permission by being to be them. And you do that by being vulnerable with your audience, right? When you don't air your dirty laundry, okay, no one wants to listen to you whine and complain and they don't want to know all your dirty laundry, um, but they do want to know you're a real person, right? I mean, they do want to know that you completely burned your kid's eggs this morning. Hi, me. And he went, uh, mom, can I just have cereal instead? Yeah, sorry. Right? Like just, just empower them um, and then engage, ask 
questions, ask for feedback. Um, I didn't know that uh, Disney World had its own world of network marketers, by the way. If you ever ask people for advice on Disney World, boy, they will message you and they will let you know that they could plan your trip. I'm like, wow, you're an amazing network marketer. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So anyway, just people love to give their opinion, right? This or that, what should I buy? Like I noticed Sarah today, I think was talking about trying on clothes in the dressing room or something. And so, um, anyway, so those are the, those are the five E's that you can focus on Monday through Friday. So this isn't hard. What am I going to post today? Well, now, you know, you have the five E's pick something, do one a day, do one Monday through Friday, pick it. And then on the weekends, you're just posting about your life. My, what did we do this weekend? This weekend, my feed is mostly about my parents' anniversary party and my uh, kids' baseball. And it's just, what am I doing on the weekends? What am I doing for fun? People like to know what you're up to. Okay, so that's how you post on social media. What about your stories? Well, it's really similar, right? I mean, just be you and your stories. Your stories are a place for people to get to know you. When you talk on your stories, when you talk live, they feel like they know who you are. Um, I often go live in my stories, no makeup on, just in my day. I'm like, here I am, this is what I'm doing or, or whatever. And so it just helps them feel like you're a real person. Um, most of my newest signups lately have been strangers on Instagram, like <clears throat> strangers on Instagram who feel like they know me and, and trust me. So that's what I would say about um creating your posts and then engaging. We already talked about that, like how you engage, right? And if you need to set a timer, set a timer, like just go, this is what I'm doing for the next 10 minutes and just do it. So these four things. Um, <clears throat> and then the follow-up, um, I kind of already explained that. I'm not gonna go into that whole system. That's like a whole conversation for, for another time. Um, and then just, you know, the intentional messaging, like we just talked about, like just be really intentional. And then as you go, like, I usually sit down to do this stuff. I mean, I really try to sit for an hour a day and knock these things out. Um, but I always have like paper with me because if I'm, and I've done this too, where I'm like scrolling and I'm like, oh yeah, Samantha, whoops. Um, we were having a conversation or um, Melody, right? You know what? She was supposed to sign up last month and she didn't um, because <clears throat> whatever. So now I'm just going to message her back and say, hey, how are you? How's June going? Right? Like, you know what to say. You don't need a script. You know exactly what to say. Be authentic. Shoot from the hip. Like, just be you. Um, and just, just connect with people in your life. But write their name down. I always have like a list going of people. I can't find it right now. Because I just have one notebook that I'm always working in at all times. This has every, this is my entire brain right now for what I'm working on. And when I'm done with this notebook, I'll start a new one. Um, and then my calendar. So this is my little calendar that I keep all my follow-ups in. So this is what I took with me to Emporia this weekend. So I had my brain with me. So that way I knew exactly who I was supposed to be following up with on these days. So I actually didn't do, I don't know what day, Friday. So I had to do Friday, Saturday, and Sunday today, which was fine. I did it in the car. It was no big deal, um, which was great. And so that, I mean, that's that. I mean, that's the gist of it, right? And when you make this a habit, you don't have to think about it. You just do it. You just do it without even thinking. You just do it without even thinking. And it's just that easy. And then, <laughs> then you build a team, right? And then once all that's done and I breathe life into myself, now I'm going to check in on my team members, right? Like I, I know that Siobhan is working on this and I'm working to train her with that. And then I have a shout out challenge going for my team right now. So I'm going to work on that. And then this other group, whatever, right? But that's the bare minimum that you have to do every day to keep moving your needle forward. And then it just becomes a part of you. So do you have any other questions, Sarah, or anything else you want me to touch on? Um, I think that was absolutely amazing. I think giving that framework is something that's so helpful. Um, does anybody have anything specific that they want to ask Shannon before I add um, on to some of that? And then Shannon, I know with the power hour that you did, you had that write up that was so good. So when we post, um, when we post the recording of this, if you wouldn't mind putting that in the comments, she kind of had some bullet points of, you know, how oh. you post and create and stuff like that. Oh, like the fab five, like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can definitely, I can do that. And I mean, it depends. Like some people say 80% your own life, 20% plexus, 60, 40. It's whatever. I mean, but if you're talking about Plexus, you need to be talking about, you need to continuously share your own story, right? Share your own story or share that of a team member or have a team member shout you out, you know, but within all of this too, I mean, 
I do this so much now and all the time that it's when I'm following up with my people and they tell me that they're having great results. I'm like, well, that is amazing. I'm so excited for you. How do you feel about doing a quick little post, right? Like it's just a part of the process because it's just, it's just what I do. Um, I don't know. So it just becomes a part of you. And when it's the right time for them to share, they will. Some don't want to share right away. Some like my gal, Caroline decided five months later to tell her story to all of her 100,000 followers and away we went. <laughs> so you just never, you just never know when they're going to be ready, which is why you just plant the seeds, right? Hey, you know, you have an amazing story. What do you think about sharing it with your audience? I mean, she wasn't ready for a few months. And then finally one day she did it. Okay. So if you're showing up every day, then you're ready for the harvest. But if you don't show up to that field every day and keep watering, you're not going to be ready for the harvest. You can't, you can't start and stop. You, you have to find some level of consistency throughout whatever, whatever you're going to do, do it consistently, right? Even if it's five minutes a day, just whatever you're going to do, do it consistently and just pick one thing, even if you just have to do one thing. Um, but those are the four things I think have to happen all the time. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so good. I love it. I, I actually wrote it down in my planner, like those, these are your activities that you're going to be doing creating, engaging, following up, and intentional reach out. So I wanted to kind of add on, thank you, Shannon, that was amazing. Add on to the intentional reach out part, because I want you guys to know if you feel like I'm stuck with the people, like maybe you're right now, you're in like the seed planting. So you've got lots of conversations happening and lots of good stuff going on, but nobody is saying, I'm ready to join, like right now. And sometimes that can feel stuck, like you're stuck, when it's just that season where you're just in that season with those people and that's okay. But on the intentional reach outs, I want you guys to remember um, that in feeling stuck, there could be some next baby steps that maybe you aren't remembering. And, and Shannon, that was a great segue. Are they ready to do a shout out post? Are they having great results? And you just haven't, maybe they've never been nudged to say, oh, sure. You know, like you actually write a post for them and say, would you mind posting this. I'm so excited that you're having these great results. We need other people to know about that. Um, or maybe they're ready for a messenger chat, um, which I have a few new graphics that somebody just posted on the Jewel page. So I want to throw that together. Um, I'll probably do it on our business building, our momentum chat. Um, I'll do that when we get off of here, just so we can have all the posts that we can use for other things. Because I know a bunch of you have done some messenger chat events that have done, gone well, but maybe you're ready to change it up just with some different graphics and kind of see what works for you. Um, inviting to one of the opportunity calls. Those are still going on all month. So knowing and understanding that with those intentional reach outs, it could be not just happy birthday or, you know, happy summer, it could actually be, would you like to do a shout out post? Would you like to make your first post? Hey, you have three friends asking you questions. Let's go ahead and do a quick messenger event. I would love for you to jump on, jump on this quick opportunity call. You, I know you're already loving Plexus. Inviting to the next thing could be that missing piece that helps you feel like you're able to move the needle forward. And I'm going to confess, I did not have anybody on this last week's um, calls, opportunity calls. And I'm like, I dropped the ball on that. So there, the next call is tomorrow night at um, 9 a.m. Pacific and then 6 p.m. Pacific. So I'll have to do the conversions. I saved the wrong chart. There's a central time chart. I think we're two hours. Central is two hours later. So there's one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all week, every single day next week, morning and evening. Um, so as you're thinking about June 30th, getting closer for what you want your Q2 success sprint to finish at, because here we are, ready or not, this is the end of the second quarter of 2021. Oh my gosh, right? Um, be thinking about who do I need to talk to in my intentional reach outs and what am I going to invite them to? And that could be that piece of, oh, well, now everybody's saying yes, because they just needed that third party validation. They just needed, you know, that, that last little bit. And I love the encourage, entertain, educate, empower, engage. I love all of that because when in doubt, there you go. There's five ideas for, and y'all, it comes down to sometimes I get on Google, I'm like, Google, 
motivational Monday quotes, <laughs> entertaining Saturday memes, you know, like it is what it is, you know, or sometimes things are trending. I shared that, um, I shared that um, America's Got Talent video. Oh my gosh, y'all, if you have not seen that, it's a 30 year old with cancer and her little intro for what she says before she sings, it's just like, oh my gosh. And then she sings and it's like, oh my gosh. And then Simon gives her the golden buzzer and like tears are streaming. So it was seven minutes of my day where I felt encouraged, empowered, entertained, all of the things because somebody had shared it and it was in my newsfeed. So then I reshared it. Um, so, you know, anything so that when people are on your newsfeed, they're drawn in somehow with something. So, um, Shannon, that was really, really good. Is there anybody that has any last comments, questions? Um, I was going to say one other thing. Um, yes. When we were at the beach house, <clears throat> we listened to Kristen Boss talk about you want to create content in such a way that people want to come to you versus you reaching out. Right. And none, none of us like cold messaging. None of us like to feel icky. We've had people do that. And so what I was going to say is that I don't know the last time I reached out to somebody and said, Hey, thanks so much for liking my post. Like since I've been real intentional with this people message me, I just signed someone the other day. I, we know each other. I think, I don't even think we've ever had a conversation in person. You guys, <laughs> Like, I don't think we ever have, we live in the same town, but she just messaged me and she's like, Hey, I don't want to do intermittent fasting, but can I still use your products? I'm like, yes. And then that went, Oh, uh Oh, um, yes. I am known as the intermittent fasting girl, but I do need to talk about how that's not a have to, but like, that was good. So somewhere along the line, she felt comfortable enough to reach out to me. Now that's not to say I won't go back reaching out to people, but I've just realized in the last three or four months, like it's coming, people are coming this way because again, they see me every day showing up and they know I'm not going anywhere. Like, oh, she's still talking about it. Oh, she's still here. I can trust her. So I would just be you. And if you feel like, like, yeah, Sarah posted it. It might be something you've seen from a lot of people, but maybe it means more coming from Sarah if it comes across your feed. Like, don't ever think that, oh, people already know that um, or they don't want to hear that again. Well, it, it, they may not have seen it. And you don't, you, you say things different than other people say it. So. But yeah, so if you don't want to do reach outs, and that was me, honestly, in the beginning, I was like, no, I don't want to message people. Like, I know I'm really read you guys, but like, mm, like I'm afraid of bothering people. I'm a, mm, mm, mm. and so I did, I, from the beginning, I sat out to go, how can I do this without ever having to cold message somebody? <laughs> and this works for me. Now, could I be a lot farther by now if I would do some of those? Uh, maybe, but I also don't want to feel yucky. And I don't want to do anything that goes against like, yeah, anyway. So that, that's my last little bit. Um, I'm, I will say that when you want to engage people, her, your tip on they want to see you and what you're doing is so important. So just literally off the top of my head, like Roxy is showing up. She's going to be in her car, either going to the gym or coming home from the gym. She's mixing her stuff and she's lifting heavy weights. Like I know. And when she's not doing that, she's cooking or she's at the car show. She does so good at being consistent, showing up. And she's like, I'm sweaty. It's going to be okay. Here's what I need to say to you. And I'm like, you go, you're showing up. Right. And then you've got, um, Karen. I'm like, how do you take blue and white paint and make a headboard look so gorgeous? Like she's really rocking the DIY stuff and you're drawing people in, you're educating. Like I would never tackle a headboard, but I'm like, well, Karen just got on there and she just did some white paint and then some blue paint and then she sanded it and then like, boom, there you go, right? And then there's, we've got Danielle O over here and I'm like, if she does one more minute of fasting, like you're closing your windows at 20 hours, I'm like, go eat something. I've already eaten like three times, but you, people are seeing that you're being consistent with your intermittent fasting and you're showing up and you're doing that. Susan's on there every single day. I'm like, she's posting the puppy pictures and they're motivational, feel good. Like you're going to come to the page. Um, Kristen, I have to give you a shout out because you posting your singing videos. I'm like more more Kristen, more singing, more performances, more auditions. That's engaging. That draws people in. And somebody who would say, oh, Kristen's that one that's got the amazing before and after, not just with losing weight, but with joy. I'm like, 
all of the things, but, oh, I didn't know she could sing and that she was that talented. So like you said, it gives people that know, like, and trust factor. And when they feel like they know, like, and trust you, then when you show your pink drink, they're going to be like, oh, I need to know about that. You know, she's beautiful. She can DIY. She can sing. She can intermittent fast. She can lift heavy. All of the things that you guys are putting out there, um, you are doing a great job with. So just so you know, and then there's Alexa looking all cute at a wedding, catching bouquets. I'm like, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut about that, but people want to see that social life. <laughs> Alexa, I caught, an a. <laughs> I caught the bouquet and then guess what happened a year later? Yep. What happened? I married Ryan. I I'm married kidding. Ryan. Yeah. Sarah, yes. the bride, said that she caught it. Um, and then Connor. Yeah. Her, so. My yeah. ex fiance was at the same wedding. He watched me catch it. He watched me dance with Ryan. And then a year later, we were married. Oh. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Keep popping yeah. that red lipstick, my friend, because you're showing up and you're doing good. <laughs> Awesome. Okay. Well, this was so helpful. I'm going to get the recording um, processed. Y'all, if you haven't named your goal, if you haven't put it on a sticky note and you haven't stuck it to the top of your computer for where you are finishing with your rank, with your success prints, hair dryer, iPad, whatever, every day. Hudson's like, mom, if we won the iPad, I'm like, no, sweetheart, we've not won the iPad yet. Like, I'm not kidding you. Every single day. I'm like, I'm trying, baby. I'm trying. I promise I'm trying. <laughs> So, okay. Well, I love you guys. Thanks for jumping on. Congratulations, Shannon. Thank you so much for sharing. Good night, everyone. Good night.